Welcome back to Cabin Cabin. Yeah, Cabin 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 Cabin. Thunk. Oh, sorry, I got stuck in a loop. Much like Mario. Oh, I think I saw the cage just really? now when I did that. Yeah. Where? Uh, Wait, why? do it again. There we go. That. That yellow That's thing. That's a cage. Yeah. So I need to get up there, which means Ooh. I need to go. Okay. Uh, Where is it going? Oh, oh, I think I need to get onto that. That red, that red platform. Yeah, okay. How? Mm, follow the arrows, man. The arrows will lead right. where you want to go. We'll figure it out. Like jetpack back over there. I'm really, really digging this bin. It's a, it's a good time saver. But if you talk to that guy, you know what he's gonna say. I'll bet I know what he's gonna say. Do you think he's gonna recommend his brother to me? I'll bet he'll tell you that his brother is going for the record in terms of throwing people. His brother so far has let me down a number of times in terms of throwing people. Does some. he always throw you in the same place or no? Yeah, so far. Is it a place we want to be? No. Hmm. Well, that's kind of lame. So this time we have reached deep into the bowels of Jeff. No, oh, Jeff. And pulled out a topic that is pretty much very well on the same vein as the last one. So. Last time we talked about high school and how you should stay in it. Well, and the other thing I wanted to say at the end of that video, but I didn't really get time to, is that people are cool and you should like like them and learn from them. You should like, comment, subscribe them. Uh, you're so marketing. And also that like school gets better and CJF is a lot better than like, at least for me. This is where we have very differing opinions, <laughs> but... Uh. So, this is funnily enough, this topic is why did you decide, why did we decide to leave high school, or leave, sorry, to leave the school system when we did. So, as context, Tom um, left the school in CJF, and I am just about to leave school having got a master's degree. So, we're both getting out or got out, but the different perspectives. So, yeah. do you want to talk really first? really bad or angle for me. Um, I guess you can play. Okay, so uh, a lot of you might know that I am currently studying songwriting at Berklee College of Music's online school. I'm gonna Oh yeah, he's also got a Kickstarter piece. for that, and you should go and give him money. Uh, ooh, thanks for the plug. I, mean, <laughs> I, I figured it was, it was less guys. lame if I did it. Yeah, it's true. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to raise money for my tuition. That's the long and short of that link in the doobly-doo. Um, yeah, so uh, before I enrolled at Berkeley, I uh, was studying at Dawson College, which is uh, CEGEP here in Montreal. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a CEGEP is, it's, it's a uh, college, it's, basically. But yeah, it's Quebec's nonsense version of a college. Um, I mean, it's the, you call it nonsense, but at the same time they fund the whole thing, so you can bum around there essentially for free, which is nice. So you can like you can spend basically as long as you want, just sort of figuring out what the, what you want to do. Yeah. Which I really appreciate. But I mean, yeah. what do you think of Sejep? Um, the one that I got out of it. I wasted a lot of time in Sejep. Hmm. Um, I think Sejep is really really good if you know what you want to do with your life. Um, if you're still figuring that out, it's a beautiful way to waste time. Um, you don't think you can actually like figure out what you want to do by being in CJP? Uh, I did, and it ended up making me drop out. <laughs> well, that, I, I mean, that's I, you know, I, I'm also bitter and jaded, so hmm. you know, don't don't assume that what is true for me is going to be true for everyone else. Okay, but, but like, yeah. what was what was your CJP experience then? What um, was so weird about it or bad about it? You know, the the thing that was bad about it for me was just the sort of lack of direction. Uh, okay, it was that I started off in a program that. Uh, well, for those of you who don't know, I, I briefly studied professional theater. Uh, and I say briefly because I dropped out after one semester to uh, uh, continue to lead the youth ministry at uh, my church, uh, which I no longer do. Um, and so when I was, uh, you know, at, at the time it was uh, basically uh, I had to do that or I had to uh, quit that job. Um, and uh, I wanted to work that job more than I... Oh, did I mess this up? No, I can wall jump. You can wall jump. Uh, more than I wanted to study theater. Oh, oh Jeffrey! You save yourself. Jeffrey saved me. Jeffrey, Jeffrey is our bag who decides our conversation topics. I'm pretty sure we've established that. Come on, come on, come on, oh, come on, Mario! Make it? Oh, yeah, he got Mario. it up. He got it up. <sighs> Barely. Mario but he did it. always gets it up. Um, wow, water bombs. Very nice. Thanks. I realized I could do that before when I started sniping. 
squids. Snipe the um, squid. And so for me, I, I, uh, I had to drop out of that program, and uh, instead of dropping out of school, which everyone had told me was a big no-no, obviously, uh, I chose to... Oh, rocket nozzle. Okay. Uh, I chose to stick around and just kind of float through a general art program. Um, uh, oh, but you have a rocket uh, nozzle now. Maybe you can uh, do fun things. Uh, okay. Can you rocket nozzle That's back That's going to be frustrating to deal with. Yeah, I can. Um, I just have to get back to where I need to be. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I ended up swapping out to a far less interesting program, um, which I think was kind of the uh, the reason that I sort of lost interest in school for... Oh, goodness. Mario. Um, you are not figuring out this nozzle thing. Oh, I, you know, it's been a long time. Well, to be fair, I would... I don't even know what you're doing. Yeah, me Do you feel like power... Right. Do you just um, like power it up with R? So right now I have a vague idea where I'm going. Um, you mean in life or in Mario? In, uh... uh ooh. <laughs> in Mario. Ooh, um, 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 that's, a uh, Well, I mean, in Mario I sort of know where I'm going anyways. <laughs> yeah, that. Um, no, in, in both. Um, goodness. You're not... Well, I don't think you know where you're going in Mario. I think no. Should take over. Uh, I've got this. Wow, that is a Blastoise. Oh, oh come on. I thought I did that ridiculously good. <sighs> Rate, comment, subscribe if you thought that that was ridiculously good. It was not. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> if we have no comments or subscriptions from this video, we know why. It's yeah. because you were... It's because they all... Uh, they, they, all they, they knew that they didn't really. want to encourage you in this horrible behavior. Whoop. <laughs> Oh, there oh, we go. That's kind of fun. All right. All right. We're back. La cage au Mario. Um, so anyway, I wasted a lot of time in Sage Up. Uh, eventually, ah, Squidman. Eventually, oh, stop, Squidman. I eventually dropped out, and uh, now I'm studying something I actually I'm interested in. Um, I made it here. I've spoken to the guy on the roof over. Uh, oh. Yeah, so I guess you, you're kind of like, I, I wrote this question, but I realize you're not really out of the school system. You're sort of back into it. Which is a little bit different. Oh. I'm the one that's really like exiting for reals. Yeah. And for me, it's basically, I mean, I've just sort of gotten what I meant to get out of school. Oh, oh there is sludge down there. <laughs> that is fun. Do you have to go like inside it? There we go. There you All go. All right. I think I may have. No! I may have definitely screwed this up. Oh, you are in sludge. Oh. That, this is your last chance, man. Oh, oh okay. that was very close. Oh. Yeah, so I'm not really out of the school system. Um, but it is interesting because I went from I went from studying in a situation that was purely academic, uh, where I was like studying just to get a piece of paper, to now I'm studying something that actually doesn't really get me a super valuable piece of paper. Uh, but gets me a lot of technical skills. Uh, yeah. So now I'm doing more career-based learning as opposed to um, academics. So that yeah. kind of answers my question, um, or my side of the question, I guess. Um, Tim, talk. I, I'm kind of like, well, like I said, I wanted to, like, once I was in university, I guess, for my first degree, because I've done two physics degrees now, I basically did it because I wanted to understand the world. Um, in in this physics way of like you know actually understanding the, the mathematical laws of how everything works and you know physics was I, I was one of the few people that always like actually really enjoyed it it was fun to me it was it was funner when the math was easy but it was always like like I I'd always been fascinated with it ever since like watching Bill Nye the science guy but it was never like I never thought of it as a job thing you know like people go and they they want to be en they want to be an engineer. They want to be whatever a neurosurgeon or whatever. I never wanted to be a physicist. I just wanted to know physics. And so I mean, school is great for that in terms of knowing. Uh, you know, you learn immense amounts of stuff. But then you know, you get all sorts of questions of like, oh, like, so you're in physics. What are you gonna do with that? And I was like, uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll make YouTube videos. <laughs> 
whatever. I'll, I'll, it's not, it really didn't come into sort of my view of why I was doing that, which I think I sort of have my family to thank for, because my mom's always been really good at being like, nope, education's just good for you to know things, and don't worry about what you're going to do with it, you'll do something with it. So I've sort of like taken on that mindset, and now I've done two physics degrees, and the second one, while very, again, good for me, because when you finish your first physics degree, you know what they knew in the 1930s, and that was not satisfying to me. I wanted to know what we know now. So now I pretty much kind of know what we know now, but more, a lot more than that, I know what we don't know now and what we have very little hope of knowing now and how slow the field is moving. And that's a lot less interesting to me than like, you know, you, when you're learning, you can learn like 10 years worth of information in a couple of weeks. But learning 10 years worth of information in 10 years is a lot less appealing to me and I don't really have the noble sense of like having to put my mind towards like the, the into the great edifice of the scientific vision or whatever like I think I can probably use my scientific abilities in much cooler ways such as education such as maybe making weird videos about science <laughs> which is you know what I'm maybe doing like I don't know I I don't know if I'm a good teacher, but Whoa. I admire good educators, and I like... I found the fruit button. Oh, man. Whoa. We're also over time on this. Um, okay, well, yeah, so next time on Game Cabin, we eat a lot of fruit.